Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this easy and simple sunflower. We need yellow, green, and brown yarn. Wire, this is 26 uh, gauge. One stem, 10 inches long. Four millimeters crochet hook, two crochet markers, hot glue gun, scissors, and a little bit of filling. We need to make one brown and one green circle just like this. I have the brown ready. Do not slip stitch when you're done with the brown. I will show you with the green color how to do it. Begin by making one magic circle. One chain. And into the magic circle make six single crochets. If you are a beginner, just place a marker on top of the first stitch here. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Close the magic circle. Remove the marker. And we're going to slip stitch here where the in the stitch with the marker. And we have the round one ready. For the number two, chain one, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. For the round number two, we're going to be making six increases. It means we're going to be making two stitches into the same space. Okay, I have three increases. I'll continue making three more increases. We have 12 single crochets for the round number three, chain one. Go back to the same space and make one single crochet. If you want to place the marker in the first one, go ahead. In the next stitch, make one increase. One single crochet in the next. One increase in the next. And this is the sequence for the round number three, making one single crochet and then one increase. At the end, we should have 18 single crochets. Round number four, chain one. And for this one, we're going to make two single crochets and then one increase. I have one, two, and in the next, one increase. One single crochet in the next two stitches. And then one increase. And this is the sequence for the round number four, making two single crochets and then one increase. At the end, we should have 24 stitches. Round number five, chain one. Go back to the first stitch and make one single crochet. And for this one, we're going to be making three single crochets and then one increase. We have two and three. The next, make one increase. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and one increase in the next stitch. And this is the sequence for this round, making three single crochets and then one increase. At the end, we should have 30 stitches. Round number six, chain one, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. Two, three, and four. In the next stitch, make one increase. 
one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three four and one increase in the next stitch and this is the sequence for the round to number six making four single crochets and then one increase at the end we should have 36 stitches 36 stitches and we are going to cut the green yarn We are going to place these two sides with the wrong side facing each other here. And we are going to finish this part, insert the hook here on top of the first single crochet. And we are going to look here for the stitch where we slip, did the last slip stitch. Grab the yellow color and pass through both sides. Finish the slip stitch. Make a couple of knots here. And now we're ready to continue making the petals. You can just place these ends here inside the two part and we are going to start by making one chain turn over twice and once insert the hook in the next stitch and look for the next stitch here from the green uh, side go through the stitch pull up a loop turn over and go through all the three loops on the hook and we have one half double crochet. Yarn over, going through both sides in the same as stitch as we did the half double crochet. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over and go through two loops. One double crochet right there. Now, yarn over twice, insert the hook in the same space. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go through two loops. We just did a triple crochet. One chain. And taking these two loops here, make one slip stitch. Go to the next, oh, yarn over twice. Go to the next stitch available. Look for the next stitch in the other side. Pull up a loop, turn over, go through two loops, turn over, go through two loops, and turn over and go through two loops. We have the triple crochet. Now we're going to be making one double crochet into the same space one half double crochet one chain and go to the next stitch one stitch from in the brown and one for the green pull up a loop and make one slip stitch here we have the first petal chain one Go to the next stitch and make one half double crochet. Now one double crochet going to both sides. One triple crochet in the same space. And now make one chain Taking these two loops here, make one slip stitch. 
turn over twice, go to the next stitch. And finish the triple crochet. One double crochet. One half double crochet. One chain. Go to the next stitch. And make one slip stitch. See, we have three stitches in this stitch and three stitches here and then the slip stitch. Okay, one chain, go to the next stitch. One half double crochet, one double crochet, and one triple crochet. All the three stitches in one in the same space. One chain, slip a stitch, go to the next stitch and make the one triple crochet, one double, one half double crochet, one chain, and make the slip stitch in the same in the next stitch. And this is how we're going to be making the petals. Just continue making the petals until you get to this point. We need to add the uh, filling here. Now you just finish making the petals. To finish, make the slip stitch here in the same place, uh, in the same stitch as we started. one chain and we are done with this part And now we're going to make the leaf. We're going to start by making 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. One half double crochet in the next uh, chain. One double crochet in the next two two chains. One and two. One increase in the next uh, chain. An increase means making two stitches into the same space. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and in the last chain, make three single crochets. If you want, I forgot to tell you, if you want to mark here the first stitch, and then we're going to mark the middle of these three stitches. Okay. 
Now we're going to be working in this side. In the first stitch, make one single crochet. And we are going to hide this tail along the way. In the next stitch, one half double crochet. One double crochet in the next two stitches. One increase in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet. And then two single crochets into the last stitch. Slip a stitch to join. I have here 26 centimeters or 10 inches of wire and we can just pass through the loop on the hook like this. We are go we're going to start by making one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. We're going to make a total of 11 single crochets. So just continue making one single crochet all the way to the marker. You should have 11. Remove the marker and make one single crochet, one chain, one slip stitch taking these two loops there, and one more single crochet into the same space. Continue making one single crochet all the way to the end. And from this uh, side, we are going to have 12 single crochets. Finish with one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. One chain. And we are going to leave a little bit of yarn to cover the stem. And here you can just um, make sure the wire is, is the same size here. Add hot glue here on top of the stem. I want you to mark the half of the stem. This is five inches. And you're going to continue wrapping until you get to this point. I finish. Here is my mark. And this is where we are going to add the leaves. We are going to uh, attach them like one on each side. making sure they are the same height.
add more hot glue add more hot glue and we are going to continue wrapping the stem like this And we're going to make a hole here. This is the last round. So here you make a hole. We are going to add hot glue. Take the stem and just put it like this. Thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe give us a like and share on your social media and i hope the process was clear to you any questions please let me know in the comments below thank you and have a wonderful day